Thank you for watching. This is our fourth in a series on trust. And uh, as you may recall, uh, we talked about um, creating trust. We talked about making yourself vulnerable first, uh, managing integrity, and then showing concern. Today we're going to talk about how do you align shared objectives. Now, now that's a critical element of trust, is aligning shared objectives. Now what's interesting is that this year, the Society for Human Resource Management and Ion Hewitt, another HR consulting firm, both did a study. They asked questions about what are the key issues for the next 10 years for HR managers and for leaders and organizations, and they both agreed that aligning shared objectives with the organizational objectives, aligning individual objectives with the organizational objectives was a key problem that had to be addressed. And here's the other interesting thing is that they both identified that leaders do a poor job of aligning those objectives. Now, how could that be? Well, I'd like to give you some ideas about how that might be happening and what you could do about it. First of all, what is a strategy? Strategy is how you portray yourself to your customers. It's how you behave every single day, every individual, uh, to get the organization closer to the vision and the mission. Now, uh, there are barriers in the organization. It's not just about, here's our strategy, let's communicate it to the troops, and let's uh, use performance management to make sure they're doing it. It's not working. It's not working. So, and In fact, let me give you an example. I have a client who has three locations. They have salespeople selling to those three locations. Because they compete with each other. When a lead comes in, they often hoard that lead or prevent the other location from getting that sale, trying to keep it for themselves. What, what that's doing is hurting the overall organization, the optimization of the revenue for that organization. Now, why are they doing that? Well, they're doing it because they're evaluated on their individual sales results and evaluate it on the number of leads that they close. So by having pay for performance and performance management evaluating the individuals, you actually create this barrier preventing you from aligning objectives and actions, everyday actions of people to the strategy of the organization. So again, yes, it's important to communicate. Yes, it's important to identify clear objectives two or three at most. Yet what also is important is identifying some of these barriers. We're still stuck in the Frederick Taylor model that says, tell people what to do, control their actions, make sure they do it because they're lazy. And I say, no, what we need to do is create trust. So look for those barriers. If you want more information about how to remove those, check out my website, optimumleadership.com. Thanks for listening.